Good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning, good morning. Good morning, Apostle. Hallelujah. Good morning, my daughter, Anika. I love to always see you. Hallelujah. Good morning, good morning, good morning. Come on in, come on in. God bless you, Sister Laverne. Not Nettie, Nettie, Nettie. God bless you. Come in, come in, come in. You got to come in today. You got to come in on your mark. Get set. We're ready to go. I don't know about you, but I am ready. I want you to write, I am ready. Makadabo sikede bashata. I am ready to go. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Come on, let me see where you are watching from this morning. Come on in, come on in. Hallelujah. God bless you, Sister Glenda. Are you ready to go? My God, Ebo Kadebo Sedere Bashata. Mama Sheba Kandebo Kadaba. Are you ready, Apostle? Are you ready, Onika? It's time for us to go. Kadabo Sata. Too much delay. Too much laying back. Eba Katadabo Sikadaba Shata. Hey. Sister Laverne said the big apple. She watching from the big apple. Come on in. Put where you are watching from. Hallelujah. Come on, tag someone while you are writing. I'm ready to go. Come on, get me three people today. Makoto de rebo sete. Ribika tabade bade 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 bo shaba. Rebinda balaba sekete. Rabadaba. Eh, Jesus. Makanda da ba sete te de 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 bo Jeremiah said, I feel Feel the fire shut up akatayama anda in my bones ribikata la bande rabakata bakotola bande rebekata even when your body makata sete sete te said no your spirit said yes akaya ya 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 ribikata ta rebekata la bande robo Shabakata, Rabakata, Robokata. It's not by might, it's not by power, but by the Spirit of God. Rabanda Bakata Laba, Rebikata Tata Tata Tata, Robokata Labanda, Rabakata Labasata, Rabande Bo Shabada Baba. Bashiye bosha, imakonda boko toya baha. Laba kata laba 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 kata, makoto toye bekete ya ha. Ina na 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 mashanda baha. Ribi kato to 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 taiye bakata. Eh baba rababa baba sata makototo de basete de reba there is a scripture Makatara basata. I was reading yesterday. Mashatere de rebaha. And it moved me so much. And it is Galatians 1, verse 15, a pastor. Mashatere rebo sata. When it said, But even before I was born, Ebo Shabadaba de Bo Shata. It said, But even before I was born, God chose me. He called me by his marvelous grace. My God, there was a grace hey, that was extended out for you and me before we were even in our mother's womb. We born with grace. God know that we will go down and we will rise up. He know that we will make me 
mistake. I don't know what mistake is holding you bound. I don't know what problem is holding you down. But I want you to know if Jesus could go to the well and touch that woman, that Samaritan woman, hey, and give her the grace to live again, to evangelize to the Gentiles, to the one that said she was nothing, to the one that was laughing and mocking her. Hey, there is a time to arise. There is a time to come out of Lodibar. There is a time to climb up the mountain. There is a time to go through the sea. There is a time the river must dry up. Hey, Bashat, I'm talking to somebody this morning. Hey, Sister Deacon Eileen, Elder Eileen, am I talking to you? Estelle, am I talking to you? Saira, am I talking to you this morning? It doesn't matter what you passed through. Come on, shear, 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 shear. I want you to shear this morning. I want you to be aggressive this morning. I want you to come to a place where you say, I have stayed too long in this position. Hey, I have been delayed too long. I want you to say Katalaba. No weapon form fashion. Hey, Jesus. Rebecca Talabande de 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 I want you to understand there is fire coming from your mouth and any wood that is around you anything that fashion against you any witches, any fox, any canker worm, locusts any blood sucker the fire katebo kotoma kata. I katalaba siketerebo sata. Any sickness, a katalabande de rebo. Anything that come to stop a kataya mahanda. From you going forward, ebo shatayaba. Let the fire ablaze today, a kadabosata. Ebo sikatalamandeya. Let it burn everything to ashes, a kandabaha. Makotola basete. Makanda dadabo shabaha. Today, today. Hey, it said it was pleasing unto God to see us rising up and revealing what we have inside of us. Hey, the spirit of Jesus, the spirit of God. When we allow the Holy Spirit to move to us, our body cannot detect what to do. It is the Spirit of God that usher us to our next level. It is the Spirit of God that empower us to move Abashatayama and Rabakata. And when we move, the Bible said it please God. Ay, ay, ay. Are you ready to please God? Are you ready? Kataya Mandeya. Come on, come on, share. I don't see you sharing. Ebosata. Rebecca Talabanda. So, Apostle, this made me see now that. Before I was born, I have already accomplished my destiny. Onika, hey, hey, we sit here 
and let earth is telling us let this world the babylonian system the egyptian system laban hey basete the pharaoh is telling us we fail ah we fail the test makata we let sickness detecting us and telling us we can't move forward to while the spirit Spirit of God live inside of us. We already was our destined to pass. We have been approved already from the Spirit and come on earth to demonstrate to extend establish the kingdom of God and we come now and play in foolish man we come now and let man is detecting who we are to while it said before I was born I have already done what God called me to do. There was a grace that was extended for me and for you to establish the work and the will of God. Come on, I'm talking to somebody today. I'm talking to somebody. I, tell, I, I want you to say, get up, get up, get up, get up. Get up, get up, get up. My God. The Bible said in the Proverbs 4.25, he said, let your eyes look straight ahead. Hey, fix your gaze directly before the Lord. Hey, why you can't accomplish what God already let you accomplish in the spirit realm? Because we took our eyes off of him. Makanda Shata. Remember Peter when he said, command me to come. When God said, come. Jesus said, come. Hey, along the way, he see the water a trouble he begin to take his eye off of jesus and begin to fall put back your eyes on jesus take it off of your family take it off of your sickness take it off of the problem you are passing through bring back your eyes madadabasata some of you put your eyes on the things that doesn't edify nothing from God. And that's why the flesh profit more than the spirit. My God, because you are feeding the flesh. Some of you, when you're praying, you only want this, that, 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 that. And you don't ask in God for strength and for power to overcome everything in this earth. For saving your family. Sometimes we just need to thank God. Sometimes we just need to understand and rejoice because it is finished i'm here to tell you it is finished come on share 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 i want you to share this morning i want you to encourage me and encourage yourself that whatever you are passing through it is already finished it's time to speak it's time to move it's time to get up it's time to press forward. It's time to come out of the grave. It's time to come out of procrastination. Delay is not your first, middle, last name. It's time to arise. It's time to shine. Whatever the prophet have inside of him or her, you have it in you. Whatever the man and woman of God have done, they heal the sick. You can heal the sick. You carry the same spirit, but you just need to activate it. You need to believe it. Come on, come on, come on. Sickness have to dry up this morning. Come on, come on. Pain have to catch a fire this morning. Come on, come on, come on, come on. The Bible said in Exodus 14, 14, the Lord will fight for you. I'm here to tell Romarlin, the Lord will fight for you. Kami, the Lord will fight for you. Pastor Terry, the Lord will fight for you. Come on, come on, come on, come on. 
the night that the Lord will fight for you. Ita, ita, the Lord will fight for you. Come on in mercy. Come on in Suzette, Glenda, Nordis, Estelle. The Lord is fighting for you. All you have to do is stand still in him. Makatalabande, Rebecca Talabasetete, Ekandadadabaterereba. Trust in the Lord. Trust, 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 trust. Come on, wake somebody up. Come on, pull somebody out of their sleep. Come on, tell them, wake up, wake up. The Lord is about to turn some things around. The Lord. Mm. My God. My God, this encouraged me this yesterday because I realized ah, that there is a fight. Ah, shata la bahanda. Ah, kate de 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 bashata. Eh, bashate de 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 bosha. Eh, bashate de 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 ba. That's why Romans 12 verse 2 said, do not be conformed to the pattern of this world. Eh, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. Uh, eh, some things are holding us bound. Uh, eh, some things we are fighting for. Uh, some of you are fighting for house and land. Uh, some of you are fighting for cars. Uh, some of you are fighting for eh, all the things uh, that you, when you die, uh, you cannot carry it. Uh, but one thing I know, uh, when you die in the spirit, uh, you you will live eternal tea. All when the body dry up and become dose. You're still living in the spirit realm. You're still alive. They can kill the body, but they can kill the spirit. Makata, matete, hey, he said, renewing the mind, masha, and then he said, then you will be able to test and approve what God will is when your mindset change, ah, when your thoughts change, when you start seeing the things of God as oh, he see it, when you start moving in the spirit, you don't want in the spirit, you sow or you fly. Hey, it said, then you will be able to be test and approve what God will is is good and pleasing and perfect will. Makata, that's why when you're walking in the will of God, when the storm come, the fire come. That's why the tree evil boy makatadaba in the furnace of fire couldn't feel nothing because they were renewing no Babylonian system could hold them bound hey shabadaba hey bashika talabande hey kadaba setetedeba when you become one with God when arrow shoot it just bounce off when death come it bounce off Sickness come, it bounce off. Makotote kadaba, ekoterebo shut up. But you've got to keep your eyes straight in. And you got to keep your, your gaze directly to God. The Bible said in Proverbs 16, 3, it said, commit to the Lord whatever you do. Hey, some of you running and just running after what you see other people have and running because you want to get what other people do or have because you want to show off. Pride is killing the nation. Pride is killing man. But the Bible said, commit what 
what you do to him, to God. And he said, it is he that established your plan. That's mean if the plan is not for God, nothing will come from it. My God, come on, share. Come on, I want you to share this morning. I want you to share. Tell somebody that we are moving on. We are going on up. We are going on up. There are many things that can end us from going forward. Every year, January, we said, Haha, we make a res resolution. We said, this year is mine. This year, I'm going to do this. This year, I'm going to achieve this. This year, God said this. And between the middle of the year, everything die. Ay, 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 ay. Everything goes down. But this morning, every destiny killer, that is killing our destiny, that is ejecting the hijacking, hijacking our destiny, Reba Katalaba, that is putting our light out. I pray this morning that the fire of God will burn it to ashes in the name of Jesus. Every evil spy, hey, I want you to know every day, Apostle Onika, you get up. There are a man turned spirit. There are spies while you are watching. They are waiting to see what you're going to produce. They are waiting to see what you have to destroy it. They destroy it with their mouth. They destroy it with their tongue. With all different weapons. And that's why yeah, yeah, yeah. you got to be wise. Rebecca Talabanda is not everything uh, you let your friend know. It's not everything uh, you let people know. They're waiting. <laughs> They're waiting to hijack you. Hijack the anointing, the promises of God. Apostle, there's many hijack jacking going on in the spirit realm they just want to see you have something they're waiting and looking out to hijack you they're watching you more than they watch you on facebook and all the thing more than all you watch facebook because they want to see what you have they want to see how to hijack you they want to see how to swallow it up they want to see how to kill it Hey, it's not everybody on Facebook love you all. It's not everybody you say friend is friend all. You have befriend witches. You have befriend eh, ah, murderer. Eh, Hijackers. They come in all different disguises. And the Bible said it. He said the wolf come in like a sheep. But today in the name of Jesus. Jesus. We release the fire of God. To unmask them. To bring them out of their hiding place. To flush them out. In the name of Jesus. Come on, share, 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 share. Anything. That is swelling up your finance this morning. Anything that is fighting you from going forward, from paying your bills, from going from zero to a hundred today in the name of Jesus. We settle no more for 30 and 60. We settle no more for 99 half. We want 100% blessing that God have said. Father, today, any canker worm, low cost, caterpillar, blood, suck, 
hunger that is sucking up and killing and eating up our finance, our money that we work so hard for. Father, in the name of Jesus, as the fire come on, I want you to release some fire. I want you to release some fire. As the fire release, everyone that release fire, we come together and we build a big fire ball and we burn from nation, from land, from city, from host to host. Every canker worm, low cost caterpillar, blood sucker that is eating and swallowing up our finance. Today is your expired day. Today we are evac evacuating you. Today we are canceling your plan. Today we are saying no more. You will not get fat from us and we become mad. Father, today in the name of Jesus, lose the people of God finance. Father, we call for the blessing of God that overcome Rebecca. Your blessing shall overcome Rebecca. Your finances will increase and multiply in the name of Jesus. Ekadabasete. Madadabashata. Madadadadadadabashata. Every satanic word. Every satanic power. Every spirit that come to bring us to the grave. Any prophecy that hold us bound. Any prophecy that tie us up. This day, as we release the fire of God, we lose ourselves from evil prophecy, from any grave, from any box. Today, today, we lose ourselves with the fire of God. We burn off every dead cloud. We burn off every word that was spoken over us that was not of God. Today, in the name of Jesus, I want you to know before I put them in, a pastor, I hear people say that people hold them back. Nobody can hold back a child of God. Nobody. There must be something inside of you that's still giving the devil legal right. To control you from moving. Nobody. Because when God said go. That's one command. He said go. Go. God don't, God don't have to do. He just said go. He said to, to, to Abraham go. Abraham heard the voice of God. And begin to move. When he said to Moses, he said, why are you standing here crying? He said, go forward. Moses realized at that moment, he had something in his hand. His eye opened up and he stretched out the rod. Nobody can stop nobody. It's either you're not ready yet for that position. You're still in the wilderness or you're still in preparation why you can't move. Or... The devil hold your bound. But when you know is your time, there is even Jeremiah said it. He was shut up in prison. Jeremiah was in prison. And still he was speaking, even when he don't want to speak. So when the time come like Esther, when Mordecai said to her, I know it's your time. Even if she never want to go before the king, something in her push her, move her to go to the assignment that God has assigned her to. When it's your time, nothing can stop you. So when I hear people said, you are blocking me, you are stopping, I know they're immature. When I hear people speak some things, I know it's not them. It is the spirit that they give authority over that is still holding them bound is speaking to them. We've got to 
understand the power and the principle of the law of heaven and who we serve. Because even dead man, the Bible said Elijah, Elijah when he, 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 he fell in the grave, the Bible said even the dead man rose. That is how it is with power and authority. Even the bones come alive. Even the dead rose up. Stop making excuse because of your weakness. Stop making excuse because you don't want to accept that the devil has still legal right over your body, legal right over your soul, legal right over your destiny because you allow it. You submit to it. Ignorance still hold you bound. I have knowing God for all my, I would say all my life because we know him for all our life. And as this word said in Galatians 1, 5, that he separates us from our mother womb and he gives us the grace. He gives us the grace. This morning, grace is extended to you to go forward. Apostle, I want you to jump in. Mad a second. Thank you. Also, I honor you. Um, Minister Onika, I honor you also. And we honor the greatest God that is our God. We honor his name. He is the most high that reigns forever. He is the one that called us. He is the one that sustains us. He is the one that gave us life. He is the one that keeping us alive. He is the one that protects us. He is the one that gives us everything we need. There is no shortage. There is nothing that we don't have. Everything has been given to us by our God. He's the one that is showing us the way. He is the one that has given us strength. He is the one that gave us breath to breathe. He is the one that gave us lungs. He is the one that heals our bodies. He is the one that gives us money. He is the one that gives us every blessing we enter into. Father, we give you praise this morning. We thank you for who you are and for what you are doing. We trust you this morning with everything. We just want to say that we lay down our lives before you. We bow before you, oh Almighty God, there is no other God we serve. You are the one, oh God, that pulled us out of darkness. You are the one, oh Father, that gave us another chance. Oh, how can we turn our backs to you ever? After all the things you have done for us, we just want to say we are grateful. We just want to say we are thankful. Thank you for your mercy. Thank you for your goodness. Thank you for every promise that is your word. Thank you for each and every day that we have lived. Thank you for our children. Thank you for our churches. Thank you for our pastors, our leaders. Thank you for our apostles. Thank you for the people, oh God. Thank you for our families. Thank you for our jobs, for everything you have entrusted us with. Thank you for the land we can live in peacefully. Oh, Basaya Makana Basaya Lamantike every good thing every blessing that comes from you oh God we want to thank you because you give us good things you give us life you give us freedom oh you gave us life Somebody didn't get up this morning, but you granted us the mercy to get up again. Oh, to live again. We are still in the land of the living. We still gained, we gained mercy by waking up this morning. Father, your spirit dwelling within us. Oh, we give you glory. We thank you that you never left us behind without your spirit, but you gave us your spirit. Oh, Jesus and you are coming back soon. Oh, mighty God. When the trumpet will sound. Mm -hmm. 
desire. We want to be ready, oh Father. We want to be ready. We want to hear that sound. We don't want to miss that sound, but we want to raise up together with you, Messiah, la makande de la Messiah. Yes, come Give on. Give us the grace. We are crying out to you this morning. Oh, we don't want to be left behind. We don't want to stay here. But we want to move on. We want to go forward and do your work as you have commanded us to do. Yes. Yes says in Hebrew 4 that the people who lived in the days before us, the Israelites, they did not receive fully what God was saying to them. It says mm -hmm. in uh, Hebrew 4 verse 2, for indeed, we have had the good news that is the salvation preached to us. In other words, God told us everything we know now. Just as the Israelites, when the good news of the promised land came to them, but but the message they heard did not benefit them. They, it was of no use, even though they heard it. But the message they heard did not benefit them because it was not united with faith in God by those mm -hmm. who heard it. So when we hear the promises, when we hear the word of God, when we hear the prophecy, we have to now receive it with faith because if we don't use our faith now, if we don't fully trust God now, oh, it will do us no benefit. These things will never come to pass. Some of them never entered the promised land simply because the Bible says it wasn't united with their faith. But mm. that is not our portion in the name of Jesus. This morning as we are praying, hey, we are gosh. praying that every part of our body my comes my into my alignment. My oh, we take Take the promises God, now God. by faith. Oh, you said to us, we are the head and not the tail. We mm. will not cry until you come, but we will labor until you come. Every prophecy spoken over your life. Oh, every prophecy spoken over my life. I receive it now by faith. Masala Bakaya. Each and every man has a portion of faith. Each and every one has a gift gift of faith so you have faith inside of you now we will oh we will stir up this gift by saying yes lord to all your promises i am saying yes lord stop looking at the things around you stop looking at the situation you are in right now Start opening up your eyes of your spirit. See the mighty hand of God. See the angels of God. Some of you have been crying all night. This was your prayer, Lord. When will you do this for me? God is saying, I already did it for you. Now you have to see yourself walking in that deliverance, walking in that freedom, walking in that power, walking in that strength. Oh, the enemy has tried to deceive you. The enemy told you all kind of lies. Oh, that you're not prosperous. Oh, you see your money leaking away. You see the money going away into all sorts of bills. All kind of bills presented themselves to you. Oh, but this morning we speak to every bill. Be destroyed by the fire of God. Because I am not living from this natural world. You are not living from this natural world. Yes, you are in this world. 
but you are not of this world. My Lord will supply in every need I have. My supply comes from a different realm. My money comes from the heavenly realm. Oh, my If necessary, I will go and go fishing, and the money will be inside of the fish. I see a supernatural transfer coming. Come on. Stop doubting God. Oh, and start believing the word. Is he not Jehovah Jireh? Is he not the one providing? We trust him for the air we breathe, but we don't trust him for the bills to pay. This thing now, it is turning around. We trust him in everything. From today, I decree and declare. You will no longer live in lack. You will no longer live in lack. But you will live in the abundance of God. You will live in the overflow. This is your season. This is your time. I command the gates of heaven to be opened now. The doors that were closed. The doors of promotion. The doors of of Ayalabasha provision, they are opened right now. Every bill is paid. Oh, Masadalabakaya. Oh, every death is Ayalabash paid off. Maprakandebesa. Wherever you had your name written, so that you couldn't buy anything, so that you couldn't get a mortgage, your name is being wiped out from that place. Your name is being deleted from that computer. Radabasaya Makaya. Rekindelebesaya. Every baker ernotering. Your name is being deleted from that place. Oh, Masadana Labakaya. Lord, make us stewards. When the wealth is coming in now, because it is coming in now, make us stewards of your riches. Make us stewards in the earth realm. You will be teaching us, oh God. Your spirit is teaching us. It's like a fast lane class. Oh, we will be distributors of wealth. We will have houses. We will have houses. We will have, oh, Makaya, Dabasaya. Businesses, Ida, Dabasaya. We will have supermarkets. We will have everything we need. And more. We will be a blessing to the land. We will be a blessing to the city. Makaya la basaya makaya. Some of you got disappointed along the way, but God is saying, turn your face to me again. Oh, stop looking at the situation and start looking at me again. I am right here to provide. I am right here to solve. I am right here to complete. Oh, somebody is turning their head to God again. Somebody is fixing their eyes on the Lord again. This is your year. This is your best year. This is your best year. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. Amen and amen. Jump in, Minister Anika. Pastor Yolanda, good night, everyone here in this platform. You see, tonight's message is about activating our faith to go forward. As a 
as Apostle Alanda was speaking, that God had already told me that the faith for the people are weakened and they are shaken. You see, the Israelite played for what they didn't see. You see, they knew it was coming. They knew that God was about to bless them. They knew that they were going to tap into that land of milk and honey, mm -hmm. but they began to doubt God. They started to complain. They kept going back, back and going back into Egypt, back in what was taking place when they were there, back in what was happening, back in the things that they were eating, they kept wanting to go back. And God is saying, I am sending my people forward, no more of looking back. When you read the word of God and you see what happened to the Israelites because they wanted to go back, it brought destruction, it brought pain, it brought chaos, it brought death. You see, going back could cause so many things in this time and in this season. God is saying to go forward. God is saying to go forward, move forward. In order for you to move forward, you've got to activate your faith. In order for you to receive what God has for you. you got to activate your faith in order for your prophecies to come to life. It's not because the man or the woman of God is wrong or they don't know what they're seeing. It's because your faith is lacking. You see, they didn't know all they were seeking. The Israelites were the son told about. They didn't listen to the voice of the Lord. God spoke to Moses and he told them what they would have received. God is speaking to his servants tonight I said, if any man is new, all, all things have passed away. Let everything that is old, let it, let it go right now in the mighty name of Jesus. He said in Jeremiah 33, verse 3, he said to call to me and I will answer you and show you great and mighty things. You see, when God is showing you mighty things and the things that he has in store for you, you cannot doubt. You got to keep pushing. Going forward may come with a little turbulence. Going forward may come. It may come with a little hardship and a little pain. But when you activate your faith and remember that God said it is yours, just remember that it is yours. Don't get weary in your faith. Don't get weary mm. in the word of God. God is not like man that he shall lie. He said to keep pushing, keep pressing. Everything that you want that has already declared over your life, it is right there. This morning we are going forward. We are going forward. We will not miss our blessings. We will not be like the Israelites that will murmur and doubt at our God. Because our God is not like man that he shall lie. This morning we are taking back by faith what the enemy has stolen from us. This morning we are receiving our strength. We are receiving our wealth. We are receiving our house. We are taking back our kids that have gone astray. We are taking back our churches. We are taking them ascent. We are taking back that position at that job site that the enemy stole. We are taking back everything that the enemy has stolen from us. If you believe this morning, I need some people to put on this life. I am taking back what is rightfully mine. I Ooh. need some people to declare yes. that taking back what is rightfully mine. Yes. You know what was taken from you. You know what the enemy stole from you. You know what the devil, who the devil used to put a spokes in your wheel. But this morning your faith will activate. The Lord God said in Isaiah 41, do not be afraid for I am with you. Don't be discouraged for I am your God. I will strengthen you and I will help you. I will hold you up with my victorious right hand. Do not be afraid. Do not be discouraged. Your God is with you. Everything that he said he will do, he will do exceedingly abundantly and above all things. He is not like man. He shall not lie. In the name of Jesus. Don't get weary in your well-doing. Don't get weary in your praying. Don't get weary in your fasting.
fasting. Don't get weary in your seeking God. Because something must happen. Because everything that they stole, it must come to pass. It must come to light. Some of you are breakthroughs right there. But your faith and your doubting is stopping God. It's stopping you from receiving, from grabbing, from taking. I need some people to activate their faith this morning. And take back everything that that lying devil has stole from you in the mm -hmm. mighty name of Jesus. Take back your mind. Yes, come on. And allow the enemy to have you in bondage in your mind. Take back your mind. Remove the voices. Cast them out. You have power in Christ that you can declare that every lying demon shall leave your mind in the mighty name of Jesus. Oh, they are second for we carry God, and with God we carry power, and with power we have anointed, we have fire to break and to burn down Makada second of Asoto walls and remove this. Oh God, the Jericho walls, oh God, the mountains. We have the power to declare that mountains shall move, and they must move in the name of For we serve a mighty, mighty God. We serve a God. Oh, they have a second of signs and wonders. Makari, a son to lobo seke. A omnipresent, um, oh, they have a second of a soto. A God who is everywhere at the same time. Makari, a seto. Every witch that sits on your blessings and your breakthrough. We declare fire in the butt of every witch this morning. In the mouth name of Jesus, every oppressor that is oppressing your people, God, we nullify them. We slay them. Every evil gathering, we cause destruction in their camp this morning because we activate what God has in store for us in the mighty, powerful name of Jesus. We nullify the earth. We nullify the heaven. We call them a saint. We call upon, oh God, our Gabriel, to release, oh God, our prayers oh they have a second up to the king of kings up to the throne and we command every purge to release our blessings hey mighty god this is the time and the season yes. that whatever we want that we will receive for we are going forward ever backwards yes. never no more backwardness take your sword god has given and some of you swords, eight of us in the realms of the spirit, rebel second, where you can command your sword to slay them in pieces, eight of us, so, eight of us, so, so we crush the head of every serpent, every spirit, eight of us, second, every queen of the courts, every treasure for us that is on the ruby place, under the sea, we pull it out in the mighty name of Jesus in this time and this season, for God said he will show us hidden riches in secret places, eight of us, so, 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 because he is God, we take back what belongs to us this morning in the name of yes, Jesus. Yes, yes, yes. And we declare victory over our enemy. We triumph over our enemy in the mighty name of Jesus. We ask God to shut us out of our sickle. You see, just as he commanded the earth to open and swallow God will hold up our sickle. The earth will open and swallow up our enemies. Every dead that lays with our possession, we destroy every casket, we amputate every dead with our possession in the cemetery, every name that is in the cemetery, with our name, we light it up a fire in the name of Jesus. We said we are going forward by will or by force and nothing can stop us. We would not be like the Israelites that missed the promised land, that missed the promised land because of their stubborn and rebelliousness. Mm. Stubborn and rebellious, this under subjection. I said, all old things must go away. Oh, the second, we welcome every fruit of the spirit, and we shall receive everything that God has in store for us. Oh, the second, He said He will come and give everyone their reward. Oh God, Father, and we receive our reward for our hard work, our dedication. We command all the above and non stop fire and non stop burning. Yes.
the atmosphere and around us because everything that fights us must melt yes everything yes must be destroyed everything that fights us must collapse and die yes. in the mighty name of jesus because we are going through our promised land we are going forward to take back what is what is rightfully ours what our children didn't get we are activating oh god their faith now because we are receiving it today in the mighty name of jesus holy spirit we thank you god we, Holy Spirit, we thank you for what you have done, O Damasiki. We thank you for our breakthrough. We thank you, O God, for allowing us to go forward and to receive. Before I go, if you do not receive what is yours, it is not the Lord, but it is you that, O God, didn't activate your faith because it's already there. Father God, I receive what you have in store for me. Mighty God, we receive. We receive what you have in store for us this morning and in the rest days to come for it is a pour out season and we shall partake in the goodness and the glory of God in Jesus name amen apostle go ahead God bless it thank you apostle Yolanda thank you minister Onika I like what she closed off with she said if we don't receive what we are open for and believing for is because we never activate our faith. This morning, activate your faith. Apostle, many times we are miss because we don't know how to pray and wait. We don't know how to tarry in the spirit realm. We don't know how to soak in the presence of him. We just come in, pray and run out back. And we don't know that sometimes we have to tarry in his presence to look like him, smell like him. The Bible said when Moses went up to the mountain top and he came down, they could not recognize him. They could not look like him. They could not look at him because he began to carry the presence of God. He looked like God. The Bible said no man could look at God and see him face to face. My God, but Moses tarried 40 days with out food and water and he become one in the spirit with God. I'm here to tell you, don't jump out too fast because of time. Time is for this word. But when you go into the spirit realm, one day is like a thousand years. We forget what time is and time stands still for us. My God, when we become, when we go into the spirit realm and we begin to give God what he desire, he stops earth for us just to have time with us to fellowship with us my god this is the time to kill flesh and let the spirit come alive this is the time to renew our mind. This is the time to not rely upon what man said or oh you said or oh you feel. This is the time to say, God, you know what? I don't even know what I'm doing. I don't even know where I'm going, but I'm just trusting you, Lord. Lord, when I look at the two fish and five bread, I, I don't know what this can do, but I'm looking on, in the spirit realm and I see in it multiplying. When I look at my children, they may not be what I desire, but when I look in the spirit, Spirit, I see them, oh God, shining like gold. Hey, when I look at myself, I may look like a old oh, mashat, as the word said, flowers fade away. But when I look at me, oh God, I see a nice purple ear. Ah, and I see a nice. When I look at myself, God, hey, sometimes you got to just go in the spirit and look at yourself in a different way. Look at your situation in a different way. And then you get your faith and you get up and you been, you become empowered in seeing what look like it is not. But you're seeing it in the spirit. 
spirit and it look real and you know it is real and you begin to press and you begin to press and you pray and you pray and then you see the motor begin to stop hey. when you come out what you have seen and imagine you see it standing before you. And you say, hey God, it is real. It is possible. A pastor, it is possible. Then you run in the next two hours again. Hey, hey, when you eat something sweet, you always want to cook that same thing and eat it. When you go somewhere and they cook, they, they cook nice. You always want to go back there to eat nice food. When you have a nice shop and they sell nice clothes like Onika, I want her to come back to England and bring the ear and the jewels. Hey, you see, things that are good, you never forsake it. Things that make you come to another place. In, for, for you to have belief and hope, you never want to shut that door. God is calling us back to come up higher, come back up on the mountain. We did too long low, too long with our prayer of begging. Hey, no, we must see and want it. No, we must create it in the spirit realm. You know, sometimes you have to decorate some things for yourself. Sometimes you have to imagine that if I do this and I do that, I receive this. God, is it possible? Hey, God, can you do this for me? God, but you see, everything that you want, it must can glorify back him. So before you ask why you are asking, can it glorify him? Can it reveal the son of God? Can you save people with it? So when we are asking for things, yes, we want it for us, but what do God have in it? What do others have in it? And once it can glorify him and others, you don't have to ask two times. It is already done. It is already done. So today, I don't know if you like my hair, but I thought, hey, my daughter had it and her, yes. my grandchildren said, it's not nice, mommy, it's not nice, it's not nice. So I said, give it to me. <laughs> and anything I put on it must glorify God. <laughs> It's nice, Apostle. <laughs> so I just put it on. It's ugly. <laughs> no. <laughs> but you know what? I'm joking now. Listen, if it suits me and I love it, it doesn't matter what no one says. Mm -hmm. I'm moving forward. Amen. Stop looking at what others say about you. It hinder you, it stop you, and it block you. And sometimes when God speak, because others' opinion, mm -hmm. because others' people is telling you it's not possible, you lay aside it and you mm -hmm. think it is not possible. Yeah. To while you just believe and get up and move forward, you will see the result. Some of mm. you have gotten prophecy and gotten a word or God has spoken to you for years and is still on the shelf and cobweb mm. and dust has taken it up. Go back on the shelf, take it off, clean mm -hmm. it off and start moving forward. I want to encourage you that it's not a man with flesh determine where you go or your life. It is God in the spirit because you mm -hmm. see, when he speak to us, he speak to us in the spirit. Mm -hmm. And when we hear him, we believe. And then we see the manifestation of mm -hmm. what he is saying, come to realization. We must understand that we, this is the season to move forward and no more delay. We have mm -hmm. delayed our business. We have delayed mm -hmm. Our, our, our finance prosperity because many of you get many times financial prosperity 
but we use it the wrong way. Mm. A pastor know me years now. She know I don't joke with money. I don't joke. If you give me one mm. set, I can turn it around to many things because I understand the power in it. I mm. understand how to, that there is something in it that can multiply and increase. Mm. I understand the authority of it. So I know how to use it. Mm -hmm. And enlarge it because it don't come to you for it to waste. It come for you to increase and multiply it. Mm -hmm. And we have the power and the authority to do. I want you to know that we are made from the earth. So the earth and us is one. That means that the earth has no power over us. We have power over it because we must mm -hmm. remember God has breathed in his roar, breath in us. Mm -hmm. The earth didn't get that. The earth on his God on his said, multiply it, it till it. He said, till it, and it will work for us. Mm -hmm. So we must understand the authority we carry. Amen. So I want you to know and just bless you this morning. You were created for greatness. Mm -hmm. Don't let nobody else tell you nothing else. You are the head and not the tail. Go and take back what was stolen from you. I'm mm -hmm. telling you, Apostle, pastor, I could be dying. Mm -hmm. I'm sitting on my back shouting because I know if I don't shout, I will die. <laughs> but if I shout, I will live. Amen. I have to choose. Lay down and die or get up or lay down and shout out to him. Once you shout out to him, he will hear you. Yes. And he will say, come. And once he said, come, you will get up. Because there's mm. no other word and no other person can command you to come than the one that created you. Mm -hmm. so God bless you, Apostle. I love you. Onika, you're my baby. I love you very much. I, I enjoy every time coming on and see you. And I just want to thank everyone for being on and for pushing and pressing. And I want you to know that this is your ear. Don't give up. Keep pressing. Keep pushing. And I will see you tomorrow. And don't forget, if you're in Holland, there's a conference coming up. And Apostle is what? Breed? Breed or breath of breed. So we are, are going to have a conference in Spikanism. And God is going to move. We, Apostle, we have seen some conference, right? And God is <laughs> yes. Moving in it so don't miss this conference in spikanism coming up and uh, i just want to say we love you god bless you and have a great great morning mm.